Hello everyone, welcome back to the forexpo.com. Not much time has passed since our last idea, and yet again we are back with new idea, which is on the Euro Canadian dollar. Before we start, I would like to remind you that all the information in this video is purely for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. Okay, let's let's move back to our previous ideas. New Zealand Swiss franc, it is almost reaching the target and I think it will be actually tested, although I would fix the profit right at this stage. Because if we look at the Euro New Zealand dollar, we actually tested the target. Nevertheless, it can go further down, but I don't think it will be, will be going much, much further. Now, if we go to the, our today's idea on the New Zealand versus Great British Pound, what we see is actually the trend is moving down. So the profit fixing is already in place. Half profit should be taken on the halfway down to the target and stop loss already at the break even. So it's a risk free trade for now and we expecting still target to be tested because of the weak pound, not the New Zealand dollar strength anymore. I think so. Now, and what we have for today as well is the euro versus Canadian dollar. Let's quickly move back to the euro New Zealand dollar. Yes, it actually tested the target and I think there, there won't be much more potential for this downtrend, perhaps price can be going up to 17500 psychological support, which means that on the Euro Canadian dollar, we might be seeing an uptrend. On the four hour chart, I have applied this FIPS to this swing, the last swing to the upside where we have 61.8 FIPS. It cleanly corresponds actually to our 200 exponential moving average because if we extend the exponential moving average, you will see that it's most likely test this area. This is 1.5213. Now moving to the one hour chart. On the one hour chart, you can see this, this Fibonacci applied to this upswing and there is another Fibonacci applied to the last swing down. This was the last rejection of the downtrend trend line. So I have used it to apply the Fibonacci. What we can see here is the break above the uptrend, sorry, downtrend trend line. This is a very bullish signal. After this, there was a strong correction move to the downside, which I think is providing a good opportunity for this upcoming correction move to the upside. So we see that there are two Fibonacci meet together at 152.13, which is 70. 78.6 and 68.2. Besides, we can see that there was a breakout of this moving average right there and price can potentially go towards this level. So this is the potential target and I would like to show you one more time frame. This is a daily chart. Let's zoom it in. I have applied FIPS to this wave up, you, you might ask why is this high? Because on the weekly chart, we actually failed to close higher. So this is why I have used this price. Now on the daily chart, we have this exact FIPS corresponding to our target at 1.5213. It is slightly higher at 1.5215, which makes this area plus minus five pips a very interesting target zone. At the same time, back to the four hour time frame. Here you can see a massive support formed in this area at 15060, multiple rejections. And even you can see that there was a rejection today, which might lead to this corrective wave upside towards the moving average. And I think this will be a very fast as usual guys. I, I always try to give the ideas that don't last much. We usually aim for one to three days potential move. 
and this could be quite a fast move to the upside. So this is the idea that we have, and I think it's quite interesting. But at the same time, while it's interesting, I think the most important thing will be actually to break above this resistance. You can see that price rejected it cleanly, produced this, the high here at 151.10. And this will be the more the strongest signal, I think, for buyers if there will be a one hour close above this price. But for now, even if it gets lower, there is a good risk to reward ratio. Although you, you might get a lower risk to reward ratio, but with a much more probability of success if you wait for this breakout. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this idea. We will meet soon, hopefully tomorrow, with yet another brilliant idea. So don't forget to smash the like and subscribe to our channel.